Hello folks, time for another video and the shave. It may be a little history lesson that I had no idea anything about until I bought this soap. Well, we're shaving with a soap that's pretty, pretty well known out there. This is Seaford's Sea Spice Lime by Spearhead Shaving. Now, when this came out, I believe about a year ago, a little over a year ago, I was kind of like, wow, people are really digging this open. I was going to pick it up. And I said, you know what? Let me hold off and let me see, you know, the, the, longe the longevity of this scent, if it's going to be cool. But then when I finally did purchase it, I noticed that Seaforth, see that there on top of the label, was a company that was formed back in like 1938, 1940, uh, kind of to uh, go against Old Spice. I didn't really know that. And I love old history facts about soap companies. That's why I like the whole history with the Schulten Corporation and uh, Old Spice. But yeah, so I kind of dug into it. And uh, yeah, there's that guy, Alfred McKeevy, McCleavy, something like that. Around 1938, started his company and blah, 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 blah. I'm going to leave a link in the description below because I don't want to bore you with all that. But yeah, this is, uh, I, so I picked this up anyway. This is by Spearhead. They kind of rejuvenated this Seaforth brand. And there's a little bit of a history out on the side of the label. Uh, right there, I believe. But I'll leave the link down below so you can scope it out. Don't know why my camera's not picking. Anyway, and the ingredients are also on the label too. Boy, my eyesight is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. There it is, soap ingredients. There you go. This is a nice like a spiced lime. And when I first opened it, I was kind of confused because I didn't really get that when I, when I smelled it out of the container. See, when I smell out of the container, it smells like a Hall's Mentholiptus cough drop, which I was like, well, where's the lime? Then when I lathered it, phew, the lime totally came flying out. But like it says, I was really digging this after I read the uh, history, which I'm going to leave the link down below where I read all the history of this company. And the reason why I picked this, because I do have other scents, I was going to originally pick the Heather, but then I saw that the Sea Spice Lime, originally from the Seafood Company, was released in 1966, and that's my birth year. So I said, let's go with that. Anyway, still trying to keep it a little green today. I know I did that in my last shave, so we're using the West Coast Shaving Honeycomb again. Or as my wife calls it, the pickle chip. <laughs> but it's the West Coast Shaving Honeycomb, whipped up in the Captain's Choice Bowl. And Razor, we are using the Razor Rock Eco today in its total stuck formation. No different handle, no different anything. The blade in there is my favorite half blade, which is the crown. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, let's cruise. Yeah, I had no idea when I first started because I, I watched like every, there was like, there's like a million videos on the soap. I thought it was made by this company, you know, the Spearhead Company. They just called it Seaford's, you know, Sea Spice Lime. I didn't know that there was a company called Seaford way, way back when, back in the old days with the Old Spice. So anyway, yeah, crazy story about this company. They brought out by Prince Machiavelli later on in life. But read the article I'm going to leave down below. It explains it all. Here we go. See? Spice lime. And I'll tell you what, from the container, I was concerned because I was like, this is supposed to be lime, but I didn't get lime. My wife did, but I did not. But when I lathered it up, the lime came popping through. I actually picked this up from Spearhead Shaving because I think every place else I checked was out of stock. And I said, well, it's about time I try this because this got so hyped up last year. I know you've probably seen 4 million videos on this, but it was my turn. My turn now to try it out. Nice. 
now I see why people totally dig it. It definitely reminds me of an old school scent. Like definitely, you know, nothing like, you know, something that came out with back in the 1940s, late 30s. Very nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Oh, that's good. Good, 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 good. Did I pop up the scent profile? I think I did. I can't remember today. If I didn't, I'll pop it up now, but I think I did already. But if not, I'll pop it up now. I'm like so forgetful today. All right, Razor Rock Eco. With the Seaford Sea Spice Lime. Very cool that they made the scent. All I could say is a very nice, sophisticated lime scent. My wife's out there today. It's kind of weird out today. It's kind of sunny but cloudy but it looks like it feels like it's gonna rain it's later in the day on wednesday i'll probably post this today got nothing else really going on today you know i forgot to ask my wife if she actually liked the scent but <laughs> I definitely like it. Kind of definitely has that retro feel to it. And I know I'm way, way late to the party on this one, but Sometimes things are released and I just like either forget about them or I see how other shavers are going to do with it. I believe what really triggered me to check this out was my buddy Josh over at Shooting the Shave. I believe used this recently. And I was like, you know what? I don't have this. So that's when I started scoping it out and I found out that there was a big history to this. Most of my shaving buddies out there have this soap, but like I said, I don't believe anybody in any of the videos ever mentioned the long history with this soap, Seaford. I thought this was a scent that was made up by the company making this now, which is Spearhead. So I didn't know. Crazy, right? Well, I'll tell you what, they definitely know how to make a nice slick soap because that soap is slick. Like I said, I really dig the scent. I mean, a lot of people made this their soap of 2021. 2022 I just remember saying okay I kind of just forgot about it and I am into the lime sense I do love lime sense but this is a more like sophisticated lime this isn't like the lime is just jumping out at you there's other stuff going on here So when I started looking on eBay to see if there was any of the original Seaford stuff around and they do have some mugs and I think a couple of them had some almost full aftershaves.
I'll have to scope that out later too. Maybe I'll pick some up to see how if this how close this is. Boy, this is a light razor. That's why I usually change the handle. Cause I almost wanna bear down on this one. I'm shaving. I don't wanna you know cause any irritation. But it's a good razor. Especially for the price. Since you know, by the Italian barber you get the razor and you get a hundred blades. How can you go wrong? I think it's still 29 bucks around there. Wow. I am totally BBS. Not that I didn't expect anything less. Wow, this is like a real good slickness, this soap. Try and break it down with some water, but mm -mm. it's still nice and slick. All right, let's empty good old Sigmund the Sea Monster sink. And wow, I do have a very wet counter today. Been having some wacky weather here. Rain, sun, rain, sun. All right, a little cold water rinse. That soap is extremely slick, which is awesome. Nice. All right, let's wipe it off with the cold Karen towel. I'm still begging my wife to make some more so we can possibly do a giveaway on some towel on some of these awesome towels that she put together i'll let you guys know but she's so busy now we're a garden so i don't know if that'll happen plus i like it because she used this cool clip so you don't have to just put it on a hook you clip it on things Alrighty, so let's recap this really nice shave and a really great history story. Please check the link down below. I, th I hope I don't forget to put it there. Because it's a cool story. Anyway, that was Seaford Sea Spice Lime by Spearhead Shaving. And thank you for Spearhead for making this. This actual scent, like I said, came out in 1966. When the Seaforth Company. See, off the puck I get a whole different scent. So sometimes you gotta lather stuff up. Great stuff. And you get four ounces. Awesome deal. And we use the Razorac Eco today with a crown half blade in there. And we whipped up this really good lime scent with the West Coast shaving. Oh, yeah. just made a mess on my counter. <laughs> West Coast Shaving Honeycomb. By the way, people ask me what kind of knot is in this. It's a synthetic tuxedo. Let me just rinse it off real quick and I'll show you. And it's synthetic, so it doesn't need much maintenance. And I just got lather smeared all over my counter. So that's what the knot looks like. It's a I think it's a 24 millimeter tuxedo very nice and my wife calls it the pickle because of that bottom looks like a pickle chip anyway mm, my face feels good and we whip that up in the captain's choice sandstorm bowl and let me get this lather off my counter before i put my hand in it and slip because i'll do that all right so that was the soap and the razor and the brush and we're going to finish it off with some very nice matching aftershave splash yeah i've already smelled this i cracked this open the second it came in mm, that feels so nice 
comes in a nice like milk glass bottle or like a porcelain bottle. I just looked down at my shirt and I got lather all over the bottom of my shirt. So that was the matching aftershave splash. Very nice. And you can scope out what it says there on the side. And on the other side. Having a little bit of focusing issue today. Anyway, good stuff. Hmm, got a little weeper right there. But that was, like I said, Seaford Sea Spice Lime by Spearhead. Oh my God, I am such a... By Spearhead Shaving. I think they're out of Ohio because this got to me really quick. I think I ordered it in like two or three days. It was already in my mailbox. So they don't mess around over there at Spearhead, that's for sure. All right, folks. So if you enjoyed today's Seaford Sea Spice Slime by Spearhead Shaving, thumbs up. And please check out the link below because I do have the history of the original Seaford company, which I had no idea was even a thing. Awesome. And stay safe. Please subscribe. We still need subscribers. And until next shave, Glenn signing off. <laughs>